I took a chance. Showed up at your house and placed myself at your feet. Crossed ethical lines. Professionally, physically. And I hold myself accountable for that. Those were my choices and I can live with them. I'd like to move forward, but I need to know exactly what I was a part of, that... that I wasn't a part of someone's... Finish your thought. Part of someone's murder. Jesus. I want to believe you, Francis. I know you... You think I'm insane? I don't think you're insane. I think you've been through a lot, trying to make sense of it all. I know I'm right. I'm sure you believe you are. It's a fact that he helped cover up the DUI. Imagine if one of your reporters came to you with this story. Could you print a word of it? No, but I'd have him keep digging. Would you? If you're honest with yourself, wouldn't you tell them it seemed far-fetched? Your notes aren't convincing, the police reports don't prove a link, and the speculative leaps you're making? I know. Hold yourself to the same standards you hold your staff. You and Zoe were seeing each other. I'm assuming, maybe I'm wrong. We were. When I lost my first wife, it didn't add up. Who dies of breast cancer at 31? I wanted to sue. Doctors, the hospital, everyone. Thought they were hiding something. No. Grief demands an answer, but sometimes there isn't one. Her life couldn't be saved, period. What do I do? Would you consider seeing someone? There's a therapist who helped me a great deal when Cynthia passed away. I can put you in touch. No, I don't need to see somebody. Lucas. I appreciate you coming by, Tom. Thanks for the beer. You can call me anytime. Hear yourself, Lucas. I mean it. That's everything? I know, you've heard it before. Uh, as a friend, Lucas, not as a reporter. Pushing the plea deal pretty hard. How seriously considering it? I want to see how this article impacts things. What does your lawyer say? He thinks that's a bad idea that I should take the plea. Maybe you should listen to him. No. I want the article. That I'm certain of. All right. I better get to it then. Thank you. You need to know. I'm going to treat this the way I would any other story, whatever the facts bear. You might not like what I write. I get that. I'll let you read it first. Then you can decide. That's all I'm asking. Hang in there.
So this is a sort of outline to the larger piece? With questions on the next page. We're off the record. Yes, off the record. Now, Tom, I know that you care about this young man, and I respect you as a journalist, but these questions? Why don't you just ask me when I stop strangling people's pets? Sir, the death of Congressman Russo... You mean my friend, Peter Russo, whose suicide left two small children with no father. No, I will not answer questions about that. Yes, I'm aware of that. No, tell her I'll call her right back. Two minutes. Secretary Duran. I can wait outside. No, nope, let's finish. Back. Now, if you decide to print any of this, assuming you find an outlet that's willing to, then yes, it might cause me a headache for a day, but I will not engage. And I think it will only prove to highlight how ridiculous Mr. Goodwin's claims are. I pity him. I truly do. I think he needs help. I've interviewed many mentally ill people. He's not one of them. Well, I would suggest that you read your own article again. He's distressed. There's a difference. Look, I understand. It must be a terrible blow to see him in prison, but Tom... Rachel Posner exists. I haven't been able to find her, but I've proven she's not a fantasy. The same goes for Roy Kopiniak. These people were born. They have social security numbers, past addresses... And so does everyone from California to Maine. Have I conspired with all of them? You have to admit there are some troubling details regarding the DUI. You know, people say the same thing about Area 51. You can conjure up little gray men if you really want to. Did you kill Peter Russo? Tom, you're embarrassing yourself. Did you kill Zoe Barnes? I've given you more time than this nonsense deserves. I have to ask these questions. Well, the only question I would ask is, does this sort of article hurt or help, Mr. Goodman? I mean, you have to do what you think is, is right, but I hope you can understand if I don't demean myself by taking any of it seriously. I appreciate your time, Mr. Vice President. Being presidential means signing the bill and modernizing antiquated regulations. As if he would but, know. What's that supposed to mean? Her husband, whose administration you were part of, was about was to be... Was in the midst of setting up a philanthropic foundation? Her husband was about to be indicted. Excuse me? There wasn't even a grand jury. I have it on good authority. He was about to be indicted, and she was about to pardon him. But she also wanted a divorce to save herself, distance herself. Because, come on, are you telling me she knew nothing of what he, he was up to? If he was guilty, Tom, she was guilty. Tom, I have great respect for you and the work you've done at the Herald, but are you even capable of defining her on her own terms? Well, I'm sorry. One minute she's playing the grieving widow, and the next she's riding on the Case coattails. Case point. This may be an unseemly thing to say, but it's quite possible her husband's death was the president's lucky day. There's not much in there. Some letters, scraps, and this. Picture. Nothing really. The body's riding up. Something happened that night. The marriage was broken. He went over there. I'm not saying they're connected. But the next day he winds up dead. She knew an indictment was coming. Do you understand what that means? Right now, everyone here can see us talking together. Civilized people, as if I never called you a murderer in print. Peter Russell, Zoe Barnes, Leanne Harvey, Doug, there isn't a shadow for you to hide in anymore. The only person who knows everything is you. I don't. Let him go. I don't know what you're talking about. At some point, you're gonna have to decide. She'll come for you when it's You're done. Control, Thanks. When did you last see her? Come on. Um, a couple of years ago or something. Uh, it was where she worked. Is she dead? You can be king again. <laughs> you don't get what all this is. You lay a hand on that innocent animal, and I swear to Christ, I'll beat the living shit out of you. Your dog's fine. My dog?
you won't find her. And Francis kills Zoe. He's crazy. Certifiable. You know that, right? You said it yourself. She's as guilty as he is. I'm saying maybe more. He's a delusional liar. It's not a just world, Tom. The fantasies he must have reported to you. But sometimes you have the chance to make the right person pay, even if it's for the wrong crime. What do you think he told me that you don't want? the last interview you did with my husband and the conversation ended where he asked you if you'd believed what he told you do you remember how you responded Tom I do I said not for a second you can be king you've got You're in